Hey guys, Uncle Joan here, um, having some beer, and I'm back upstairs because um, I don't want to impose on uh, my better and other half, um, who's downstairs, and uh, yeah, sometimes I like to have a bit of a peace. I don't have a basement, otherwise I'd be down there, um, and the shed is full of stuff, including brewing equipment, so can't do it there. Although I'd like to go outside and I'm still thinking, still toying with the idea of sitting outside and doing some beers. Um, but not today. Um, we are back in the land of Holland um, and I unfortunately have left my little book thing downstairs because I was reading it outside um, and I've left it down there and I'm far too lazy to go down and get it. But what I have got is one of these bad boys. Uh, Two chefs brewing who are fantastic, and this is a, a special one. Um, it is called a Decenium Falcon, um, and it's a double Funky Falcon Bale Ale. And uh, Funky Falcon is one of their staple beers. Um, it's one of their pale ales. I haven't actually had that one, but I've had some really nice other beers from these guys. And um, yeah, they've opened a new. Well, I guess over lockdown and stuff, they've opened a totally new brewery. Um, yeah, done loads of cool stuff. Tried to, to kind of make it uh, make it green and all that kind of stuff. So good luck to you guys. Um, and we do. Ah, now, you might see that this is a silver can. There is actually a gold can, which is even more ridiculous. But um, yeah, kick into Hoppy Overdrive with this 10th anniversary pale ale. That's why it's called Decanium, um, because it's 10 years of their brewery being opened. Um, and it's a double take on the beer that started it all, the Funky Falcon. Okay, so the Funky Falcon was their first beer. Um, okay, so where are we? You can stop the video if you like. I'm trying to see what's in here. If I remember rightly, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this has got Citra and Centennial in it, and they're two of my favourite hops. And if you see there, the alcohol is 7.5%, so that's absolutely ridiculous. If you want to, you can pause the video, scan that QR wrongness, um, and uh, yeah. Ah, there we go. I knew it said something in there. Look, look down at the bottom. Um, brewed with proper heaps of hops. 14 grams per litre of Citra and Centennial. Jesus. Now, I believe, although I, I've got the silver version, there is also the gold version. And I think that's over 20 grams per litre of hops. <laughs> and it's the same hops, because that's what I think, that's what a funky Vulcan has. Absolutely redunculous. So, yeah, as usual, because I'm up here, Everything is slightly different. I haven't done a video up here for a while. Uh, things are out of shot, all that kind of stuff. So we have got the Gads tulip glass because I like using a tulip glass for, for Dutch beers. Um, I was going to get some um, unbranded glasses and I still might do. I saw some in Tesco's the other day and they were... <laughs> 490 capacity, which is a bit weird, but you, you'll definitely get a 440 can in there. Um, and uh, same sort of shape as this, but obviously unbranded. This is the Gads one, my local brewery. So shamon to the Gads. Cool. So we've got roughly two fingers head. Um, the colour is lovely. Let's move it out of there. A tiny bit of a haze, but I'm not surprised by the absolute shed loads of hops that are in there. And the colour, lovely, lovely white head. I'm getting a nice pine. Pine. And a bit of fruit. Um, Sort of orange, orangey fruit, so perhaps, I mean, it doesn't say. It only says shed loads of Citra and Centennial, but perhaps there's some Simcoe or Amarillo in there as well. I don't know. 
get all of it in there. It's only a 33 can as well. I quite like that double headed falcon sort of motif. That is quite cool. Let's see if we can get, there we go, something like that. And then see if we can get that as a, uh, a screenshot. If I worried about such things, I would, I would care. I was speaking to one of my Australian friends and he, uh, he reminded me of stuff we did in the old days and that I should probably get back to doing videos properly and a bit more professionally. Um, but hey, we'll see how things go. Um, at the moment, my viewage isn't that great. So uh, yeah, if it, if, it, if it goes up, I will start doing some intros again, if you remember those. Cheers to Barbara Streisand. Wow. Wow. That's a lot of hops. Oh, it's not insanely bitter. I mean, it's pretty bitter, but it's just herbal, shall we say. And I'm getting that, yeah, getting that lovely pine. Am I getting that kind of bubblegum thing? Not really. I am getting the kind of fruitiness and I'm there is orange in there I'm thinking perhaps a more Simcoe type orange um the kind of peach yeah like a like an old school west coast kind of style but not as bitter and this is a pale ale doesn't say it's an IPA There's a lovely amount of sweetness there too, but wow, this is all about the hops. I can taste that, like the oils on my lips. This is a ridiculous amount of hops. Mm. And at seven and a half percent, although they're calling it a pale out, this could quite easily be an IPA. And uh, yeah, I don't think anyone would say any different. <laughs> this is... Yeah, this is like maybe five, maybe 10 years ago. Those those initial kind of West Coast style IPAs, the ones that weren't ridiculous on the IBUs. I think this one's only, it did say 50. It does say in one of those little round boxes, 50 IBUs. So somewhere in the middle there, which basically means that the hops are not really there for bitterness. Um, they're there for mouthfeel, um, should be there for aroma, but yeah, on this one, I'm not, I'm not getting that much. I, I am getting aroma, but not as much as if you dry hopped it to within an inch of its life, which a kind of this one has been. Um, I've used Centennial actually in a recent brew that I did as a finishing hop, uh, I think I put 100 grams in for a 15 litre batch. So that's that's a kind of there, sort of. I mean, yeah, but wow, just ridiculous. I can do that because I'm a home brewer. I mean, wow. Lovely, lovely amount of lacing stuck on the side of that glass too. We don't have the lines so much this way, but it's more kind of this way. And it looks like a very oily kind of thing um, stuck on the side of the glass too, which kind of maps up. So that means there's loads of hop oils. Um, we're talking alpha and beta kind of stuff. And all the other ones too. <laughs> which were only just discovering those clever scientists um, are doing stuff in labs on uh, on what kind of things, theones and all those weird sort of things. Loopaloons, loopaloons, just loon. <laughs> mm. 
yeah, the other thing is, sorry that there haven't been so many reviews lately, as he, he says as he puts the glass down. Um, yeah, I've, um, I've recently, hoping, I was keeping my fingers crossed that um, I would be gainfully employed during July, but that is now looking doubtful. We are getting towards the end of June now, so uh, yeah, I... Not 100% sure what the future may bring. Well, even the belch tastes like hops. That's a good sign, by the way. Um, yeah, and I'm back in the hospital for my uh, cancer treatments again, which is just so much fun, as you can imagine. Um, so, yeah, things are not going that great, but... Still got a box full of beer to drink. And um, at the very, very least, I'm going to leave this world with a beer in my hand. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, go to the big brewery in the sky. <laughs> now, the other thing is I do have another uh, Two Chefs uh, beer. Lucky me. Um, and I'm going to do that one uh, probably later on today but I'm going to release it tomorrow um, so I'm going back to trying to, to match up my breweries so I know the June box has loads of stuff all from the same brewery so I'm going to be uh, spending a bit of time doing that all in one hit but I still have a couple of beers from the beer 52 box from a few months ago um, so yeah, I need to finish the Dutch one, really, uh, and then move on to the epic challenge, which is going to be, uh, yeah, doing the June box reviews. I think I'm probably going to do them all in one go and maybe do one every day, purely because I've got like, how many beers is it? Ten beers, I think, um, all from the same brewery, collaborating with other breweries around the world. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of insight into my feelings about some of these eco things because some of them are really, really good. And I do like a lot of thinking that's gone into um, the eco-ness. But at the same time, I also have my doubts. So, yeah, that series will be coming up soon. But yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be doing another two chefs brewery. And uh, yeah. We'll see what we get back to Holland. Well, drinking a seven and a half percent beer does make me talk a lot of shit. But hey, you guys are used to that if you're watching this video. And if you're not, click like, click subscribe down below. Keep YouTube happy um, with Uncle Jonna because, um, yeah, that relationship's kind of getting up for 15 years now. So uh, I know I took a bit of a break, but I'm back. I'm back. Get to the chopper. No, it's, I'll be back. Well, I am back, man. Damn it. Anyway, guys, enjoy a beer yourself. Please, yeah, think about life and think, hey, you know, it's not that serious after all. You've got to enjoy yourself. And why not enjoy having a beer? <laughs> Cheers and beers, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow for more Two Chefs Brewing.